Welcome guys, I'm Toothpick Timmy and I'm going to show you how to make the best Crock-Pot Cuban pork. So good, so delicious, real citrusy flavor with that spicy Danos coming in on the backside. Can't beat it. It's real simple. Get your pork butt, a bottle of Mojo Cirillo, a couple oranges, a couple lemons, then you serve it over a bed of yellow rice with black beans. Nothing else like it, I promise you. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Let me show you how to do the damn thing, baby. Let's go! We're going to juice the lemons in a juicer so the seeds don't get into the mixture. We're just going to squeeze the oranges in there. No, oh, the citrus smell. The citrus smell is so real and rich in here. Just smells like I'm living in a lemon field of lemon trees with lemon gnomes squeezing lemons all around me. You know lemon gnomes are real, right? You ever, you ever seen a job application for picking lemons? The gnomes do that stuff, man. Get your mojo cerillo, okay? Shake it up real good. Highly recommend shaking it. It's got a lot of stuff in here that settles to the bottom. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, or like it owes you money or something. Dump this all over it and around it. Now I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna grab my favorite part about it. Put a little Danos on there now. You don't wanna put a lot and I'll tell you why. I'm about to inject it with all these juices. And the Danos for some reason does not go in the injector too well. But I do want a little bit of that dang good flavor down in that pork butt when I inject it. I'm telling you, when you see us eating it, you're gonna be like, man, I better make that dang good crock pot Cuban pork butt all toothpick showed us how to make. I'm telling you, it's cheap, it's easy, it'll feed an army, and you will thank me, I promise. If I didn't have so much faith in it, I wouldn't even share it with you. Got all those orange juices in there. Take your lemon juice. Get this down in the bottom. Surgery starts. Now watch when I inject this, you'll see it plump up. You see how it's getting fatter in there and starting to push out? I guess this is similar to Botox. Do you see how it whole rose up right there? That was pretty neat. The only reason it seems like the Danos does not go through the injector is because the dehydrated spices, when they get in that liquid, they start to hydrate and thicken up. That's really what brings you all that natural flavor out of it. All right guys, so now that the pork butt is injected, okay, I'm gonna take my Danos. I'm gonna get a nice little coat on top. As it cooks out, it's just gonna work that flavor all around it. Don't be afraid to hit it real good. It's just gonna soak up in there. When the water gets to bubbling, it's gonna, oh boy, you guys just don't even know. The smell that's about to happen in this house is incredible. Now we've got our pork butt injected. We've got that mojo cerillo around it. We've got our oranges and our lemon juices fresh squeezed in there. We've got the Dano sprinkled on top. We've got it sprinkled all around. The dehydrate, dehydrated spices are working their way down in there flavoring that mojo cerillo even more. We're gonna knock this one out the day in ballpark. I can see it a home run already. Smells like a winner, you know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna take our crock pot, turn it on low. Let it go, let it cook low and slow. Now make sure you guys stay with us because I'm telling you, this is the best pork you've ever had coming out of the crock pot. Quick, easy, put it in, forget about it, come back, have the best damn meal of your life. It's that easy. Check it out guys. Take a whiff of that. Check it out. It has been about four hours. The Cuban pork in the crock pot has just been cooking, soaking up all that good flavor. We're going to go ahead and get a hold of it. Some way, somehow, it's falling apart, so it's kind of hard. Oh, you can already see the bone pulling out right there. This is gonna be so good, so good. Flip it on over there. Now you got the fat side on the upside. You can see it's kind of pulled the fat off, cooked it down, 
It wasn't too much of a fatty piece, but you can see the fat's been worked in. Now here's the trick. Because we're all natural, low sodium, no sugar, no chemicals, you're never going to overdo it with Danos. All you're doing is adding real flavor. Watch this, guys. Right from the hip to the crock pot. Nothing can top this, I promise you that. Just give it a nice good coating and let that fat absorb the real damn good flavor that makes your taste buds go, oh damn! That's how we do a the damn thing. Okay guys, check it out. The pork is almost finished and I'm so excited about it. The smells of this house are incredible. I've got everything going on in this house. The citrus, the rosemary, the real flavor. I can't get enough of it. But since this is almost done, guys, it's almost time. Almost, actually, it's not almost time. <laughs> it is time to get over here and prep your seasoned yellow rice and also your black beans. Let's check out the stove. Okay, guys, get the seasoned yellow rice of your choice. It's not brand specific. Doesn't matter. Get whatever your local groceries got. Follow the instructions on the back. This one, one and two third cup water, little bit of oil. Add this in at a rolling boil. We're gonna let that simmer for about 20 minutes. And the rice will be ready. About 15 minutes into it, we're gonna put our beans in the other pan to heat those up. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Notice, notice the flakes of rosemary cooking in the rice. The rosemary seasoning in the rice. You guys, the profile of Danos with the orange peel and the lemon peel in there, the Cuban pork, very citrusy, nothing can pair better with any other meal than Danos seasoning. You got the gourmet flavors, you got the citrus flavors, you got the low sodium, but just enough to get you what you want, get you what you want. Okay guys, check it out. Now this specific rice was a 20 minute simmer, so about 15 minutes into it, I'm gonna pop these black beans, we're gonna rinse them off, we're gonna put them into the pan and let them warm up. After they're rinsed, dump them on in your pan. Every last one. Stir your rice periodically. It's getting down there, it's about ready. We're just gonna let it finish up, let it tenderize a little more. Check out what we're gonna do to the pork, guys. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take our finished crock pot Cuban pork right there. I'm gonna pull this out of the crock pot into the full pan. I'm gonna get rid of all the fat chunky pieces, if there's any left. There might not be any because it might have all cooked down and, and liquefied. I'm gonna get the prepared meat, put that in a half pan and ready to serve to all your friends and family. Give them the best Cuban pork they've ever had in their whole day in life. I guarantee it. So all I'm doing is taking this fork, running it across the pork. You're gonna get some pork that's gonna end up getting trashed, but that's okay, because you got a huge pork butt here. But I'm just kind of scraping off any fat that I can on the, on the fat side. You know, this was the fat side that originally started down. And we're gonna lift it up a little bit. Just pull out the big chunks of fat if you can. You do wanna leave some fat, but I'm just not a fan of the fat. So I'm gonna try to get rid of some of it. Delicious Cuban pork, can't beat it. One way to serve this, guys. Plate your rice right there on the plate, okay? Lay it out nice and even. Make it look like you are the chef with the best Cuban pork ever. They don't know it, but you are. They're about to find out why. So you got your little bed of rice there. Put a little beans on it. Take it right over yonder. Check us out. Now all this has been cut up, pulled apart. I've defatted a lot of it. So we're just gonna go in through here. We're gonna mix it up in those juices, all that citrus juice. Grab us a little chunk here. I guess I could have cut it up a little bit better. We're gonna lay that out on the plate. Just right over that. All right, check it out. There you go, guys. Cuban pork with your seasoned yellow rice, your black beans, seasoned with that mojo, cerejo. I'm saying it wrong. I know I've been saying it wrong, but I believe it's cerejo, cerejo. I don't know Spanish, sorry guys. I'm trying my best. But what I did make is the best Cuban pork. Let's get a bite. 
Can I get a taste tester in the house? You, with the camera. <laughs> Check this out. The way to get your best bite. Follow suit, Brad. Get you a little bit of, little bit of that uh, rice, a little bit of that beans, and get you your pork on there. Oh, it's so tender, it's just falling right off. Yeah, I'm going with this guy. I can't get a piece of pork on there. Well, I thought you were teaching off. me. Well, <laughs> skill. <laughs> Check this out, guys. That right there, perfect bite. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. The rice, the beans, the way it mushes with that pork. I'm telling you, you can't beat this Cuban pork out of a crock pot. A crock pot. Put it in, leave, come back, boom. Damn good dinner, served. You know what, Toothpick, I like it, but I think I need to put a little bit more Danos on there. Well, I ain't scared him. He was some of that, brother. <laughs> come spicy. on. Yes. <laughs> People say we're using too much. Honestly, it could handle a little bit more. That, that is damn good, boy. I mean, excuse me while I shovel. <laughs> Took that 10 to a 10 plus. I feel like I'm at a restaurant right now. You are. <laughs> Toothpicks restaurant, right in his own kitchen. When there's a mess of the plate, you know the food was great. For more wonderful damn good recipes and things that will astound everybody that you're cooking for, Make sure you subscribe, like, and follow us on any social media platform because we're bringing the heat, but most importantly, we're bringing that damn good flavor, baby. Let's go! Pop, pop.